Welcome on Thanesboard Online Education Course. If you want to be a Thanesboard Ninja, subscribe this channel and get first hand knowledge about the platform. Attributes feature allows you to associate certain key value parameters or attributes with your entities. For example, you may associate device model or serial number. Similar, you can associate semi-static parameter like temperature upload frequency, which will control how often your device should measure and upload current temperature. Note, you are able to use your own attribute keys. Camel case text is traditionally used for key names. Devices may receive notifications once attributes are changed and react accordingly. Since HTTP is request respond protocol, it's not perfect to receive real-time updates. We recommend using MQTT for subscribing to attribute updates, especially if updates are frequently. It helps to minimize some overhead of HTTP. But for 1 per 24 hours data uploads, it may be redundant to keep socket connection open all the time. Much more reasonable to execute one HTTP request to get the value of configuration attributes once per day. Nevertheless, Thanesboard provides following APIs to devices. Push attribute updates to the platform. This is used by devices to report their current firmware version, application state, etc. Get the latest configured value of the attribute from the platform. This is used by devices to get remote configuration parameters, information about the latest available firmware version, etc. Subscribe to attribute updates from the platform to get notification about updates instead of polling. There are three different scopes of attributes available in Thingsboard version 2.3 Server, Client and Shared. Some new scopes in the future releases may be added. Server-side attributes are available for all entities. Some examples may be address of an asset or hardware model for device. These attributes are rarely changed. The key difference of this scope is that application or firmware running on the device cannot access server-side attributes. Client-side and shared attributes are available for devices. Client-side attributes are reported by the application or firmware running on a device, current firmware version or current upload frequency. They are produced by the device app and server-side applications cannot change them by default. Shared attributes are something controlled by the server-side application but available for application or firmware running on device. This type of attributes is used mostly for configuration of the device. Whenever a device boots or reboots, it can subscribe to change of those attributes and request the latest value of those attributes just in case it missed the update during downtime. Example: Configuring of the temperature upload frequency that determines how often to measure and send current temperature value. You should use two attributes to make this works correctly. Shared attribute temperature upload frequency or target temperature upload frequency to store and update the desired value. And once your device receives the update, it can push similar current temperature upload frequency as a client-side attribute, just you to know whether a device received and applied the configuration parameter correctly. Using this pattern, you are always able to identify whether your device application is in sync with the server or not. How long does it take for your device to become sync? What's the state of your device in the current moment? Similar to telemetry feature, you have full control over server-side and shared attributes via REST API and web interface that is using REST API as well. There are special server-side attributes that are used to track connection status of the device. 
If device is not communicating to the server within a certain time, the device becomes inactive for things boot, and a special event might be triggered from rule engine. Of course, multiple things boot widgets allow you to display and change the values of the attributes in easy way. We will cover this in the next videos.